Yeah, what I want to do with these skillful mind retreats is I, I really want them to be very much an introduction for anyone that may have never even contemplated doing meditation to come along and learn from. So they're totally not threatening. There's no particular ideology that I follow. So whereas some retreats might be following a particular teacher or a particular doctrine, I teach meditations from the Buddhist tradition, the Hindu tradition, the American Indian tradition. I teach a bit of modern psychology and I'm very much of a firm belief that you follow your own path. So there's no need to be any particular mindset to come to these retreats and you don't have to follow my advice. The idea is to just put some ideas out there and if you find them useful, then you take them away. I don't want it to be really austere, so we have really nice accommodation. I try to keep it relatively uh, less expensive, so it's not like a $3,000 retreat that you might get over on the East Coast. In fact, I get a lot of people that come from the East Coast to come over on my retreats just because of that reason. But uh, it's nevertheless comfortable. We actually have massage therapists and life coaches and even a tarot reader on a lot of our retreats just to bring in those extra modalities and to make it fun as well because spiritual development isn't this austere process it's good fun and the people you meet on retreat are sometimes some of the, the most rewarding parts of it so I encourage a lot of interaction as well as uh, a good learning environment so that it's not a big party because you're there to learn and, and what you get out of it uh, is very valuable and if it's a big party you're not going to learn anything but at the same time it's social to encourage that two-way conversation because that's where you learn the most. So the Skillful Mind Retreats are meant to be really rounded. They're affordable for hopefully anyone to come along to. We have really good wholesome vegetarian food that is both delicious and nutritious at the same time. But also um, you're free to be able to just enjoy the retreat and use it as a bit of a break because let's face it in this day and age what a lot of people need is just a little bit of space to think rest and maybe contemplate if we're lucky some of these more deeper aspects that they can take back into their busy lives so i hope that makes us a little bit different from a lot of the other retreats around us i find that it is resonating with uh, particular people um, and so, you know, that's a good thing from my point of view.